हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट so recurrent shoulder dislocation in the recurrent shoulder dislocation we have mass tense classification for recurrent shoulder dislocation so mass tense classification for recurrent shoulder dislocation now according to mass tense classification for recurrent shoulder dislocation first mass tense classification we have two things which is tubs or torn loose Second, we have ambry bone loose. Okay, first tubs. In the tubs, we have T for traumatic. So first T for traumatic, U for unidirectional. That is most commonly in the anterior direction. Bankart lesion, B for Bankart lesion is seen. And S for surgery, which is. orthoscopic bankart surgery or hill sack repair is done surgery which is actually orthoscopic bankart surgery and hill sack repair is done in the patient okay then then we have second class second part of classification is ambry bone loose here here the uh, it the it, dislocation can be a traumatic or it can be multidirectional or it is bilateral dislocation with rehabilitation in the rehabilitation we give the patient isometric rotator cuff exercises are given and internal capsular closure so in bilateral especially if you do an mri to the patient um in the amrilus on mri you can see the presence of any of these on mri we can see that there is capsular laxity is seen in the patient so it can be due to some connective tissue disorders or it can be due to a marfan syndrome which is obviously it is a connective tissue disorder where there is fibrillin defect or it can be due to an ehler danlos syndrome or it can be due to an hyperelastic syndrome so in all these conditions the lesions are bilateral in nature so the lesions it is of two things like for example all dislocation patients can be classified into two types one traumatic unidirectional with bankart lesion treated by surgery second a traumatic multidirectional which are bilateral lesions treated by rehabilitation with isometric rotator cuff strengthening exercises okay so for orthoscopic right so this is the mass tense classification for recurrent shoulder dislocation thank you and thank you for watching